Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Well, this guy's got some hands on him, DC, and sometimes he takes issue when we call him a boxer because he is an MMA fighter and a well-rounded one at that. But it's hard not to lead the dance and lead the walk with the boxing skills that really are off the charts. Yeah, it's unbelievable. So he can be mad, but I would be happy to be called a boxer if I possessed that set of skills. If I had the ability to mix the target as well as he does, when he's most comfortable, when he's flowing, when the head is moving, when it's never on the center line, when he's landing body shots, when he's following that left body shot with that beautiful left hook, that's when he is most dangerous. It's a guy that for all that he can do in the octagon, at the end of the day, he was a boxer first and a fantastic boxer at that when he stepped into the UFC. And don't sell yourself short there. I'm trying, but I'm not this guy. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of Rome, Italy, live. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your car. So here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand. Or it. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? All right, first round is underway here. We say in mixed martial arts, it's one thing to have the reach advantage. It's another thing to use it. We'll see if he can get that jab going. Tonight. He has got to fight tall. He's got to stay at range, use his length to give his opponent problems, trying to bring the fight into a closer distance. Straight punch lands. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Loaded up on that right hand, too. Just over three minutes to go now. Well placed kick there by Lee. Oh, 
Well, missed on that one. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. <laughs> oh, man. Oh! Chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Not only will this affect his ability to stand, but he can't really set down on his punches and he won't generate the power that he normally generates because he can't really get heavy on his leg. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Got the single collar tie. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Oh, and he caught the kick. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range. So suddenly he'll change his stance. Hey, hey, stop. All right, DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. Lots for the replay guys to choose. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always gonna be. You have two very talented fighters. Sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Oh, he might be out. Yep. <laughs> Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. So once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. Oh, man. How many head kicks can one man absorb before getting separated from his conscience? One, normally. <laughs> this guy has a great chin. But if he takes any more, he's gonna be sleeping. Oh! Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. Wow! Oh, I'll take that finish. Oh, Unbelievable. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC. And defensively, you better be careful. So you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, worked hard to get up again, but he looks like he's compromised. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. Little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, oh, he's got him hurt here. Back to the feet. Could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night.
So a huge result and a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the big knockout win. That could hold up as one of the better KOs of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 24 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by... Oh, oh. oh there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. I'm asking the producers... Thank you for watching. Please wait for more videos. See you soon. Because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check is going to be carrying.